today we're gonna draw blossoms. Yeah, spring blossoms, which show up on the tree. Kind of look like popcorn. Yeah. Or pink flowers. Yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your crayons because this lesson is meant for younger artists like you. How old are you? Five. Five, yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's first use our brown crayon for the branch on our tree. And we're gonna start down here in the corner and we're gonna draw a wiggly line that comes up to this corner. So you start down here and draw kind of wiggly up to here. I'll hold your paper. There we go, oh yes. And wavy, that looks really cool. Okay, now we're gonna make the branch a little thicker down here. This is gonna be a little tricky, but I bet you could do it. We're gonna start here and we're gonna look right next to it. I'm gonna kind of go right next to it. But watch this, as we get to the end, we get to a point. We get closer and closer. Yeah. So you can start kind of far away down here at the bottom, go right next to it, and then up here, get to the point. Stay right close to it. Yes, whoa, that's so tricky and you're doing a great job. And then to a point. Yes, okay, now let's color in in between those two lines to make our branch brown. Now that part we sped up, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your branch. Now let's add even more branches. I'm gonna start right here and draw a branch. Maybe this one's not as wiggly. I'm gonna come up to this corner up here. Because it can't have this one branch. Yeah, it needs lots of branches. We're gonna start right here and you can come up to there. Yes, okay, now let's make that branch a little thicker too, and then come to a point, just like we did for this one, and we can color that but in. But shorter. Yeah, it is shorter, it's not as long. There you go, and point. And then you can color it in. Now let's add another branch. I'm gonna start down lower and come out like this. You could start here, and then come up to here. I like drawing tree branches, they're fun. Now we can make this one yeah. thicker too, and then come to a point and color that one in. Just repeat the same steps. So remember to pause the video if you need more time. Good job, and then color it in. Let's add another little branch right here coming out to the corner. So you could start here and then come out to this corner right here. I'm gonna make it a little thicker too and then color it in. Now we're ready to switch to our pink crayon and we're gonna add all of the fun blossoms to our branch. We're gonna draw four petals for each blossom. So we could draw like this. We're gonna draw one, two, three, four. It's okay if you wanna add more little petals Let's see if you can get four. There's one, two, and then go into a circle. Yeah, you did it. And then let's color that one in. Let's practice doing that again. I'm gonna add it over here. I'm gonna, and you can have it off of the branch because we're gonna connect it later. So it's okay if it floats a little bit. I'm gonna do one petal, two, three, and four. See if you can add one right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You did it. Now let's color in those petals too. Good job. Let's do another one just for practice. This time I'm gonna add a little dot in the middle. So you can do it right here. Add a little dot. That's for the center. Then we're gonna do the petals that go around it. And each time we make a petal, we're gonna go back to the center. So try, start here, draw a little petal, and then come back to the center. There you go. Let's do another one. Start at the center, draw a little petal, and then back in. Let's add one more for three. And the last one for four. You did it. Okay, let's color that one in too. How many blossoms do we have? We have three. Yeah, we have three. Do we need more? Yeah. Yeah, we need a lot more. This part we're going to fast forward, but we're going to repeat the same steps 
for all of our blossoms. And we can put them everywhere on the page and fill our entire paper. This is gonna take us a little while, that's why we'll fast forward. But our friends can pause the video and take time to add more also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! Olivia, you did it. You added so many blossoms. Was that fun? Yeah. Do you think you could memorize and remember that the next time you want to draw blossoms? Yeah. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's switch back to our brown crayon and we're going to add little details inside of each blossom. So first, let's start up on this one. Maybe that one right there. I'm going to add a little circle, a really small circle in the center and you can add little lines on each side of the circle if you want. One. Two, three, three, four. four. Yeah. And then let's draw the branch, the little small branch that connects the blossom to the other branch. So it doesn't just float. Yeah, so it's not floating. You're like, right. Oh. <laughs> you could add a little branch that comes out like this and then connects to that one. It already is connecting, but it's kind of fun to draw another one. Yeah. Okay, now do this one. So add the little dot in the center. And then you can add small little dashes on the outside. Really small dashes. I like that. And then a branch that connects into the bigger branch. You did it! Let's practice one more. Maybe do this one over here. I'm going to do that one too. So we've got the center and then the little dashes on the outside and then connect it in. Oh, that looks really cute. You want to connect it into the branch? There you go. Okay, now we still have a lot of blossoms to connect and to add those little details to. So let's fast forward, but we're just repeating that same step. You ready to fast forward again? Yeah! <laughs> We finished drawing and coloring our blossoms and while we were coloring, what did you say to me? I can't believe it. A five-year-old can draw this. I know. I can't believe it either. Actually, I can because you're a really good artist. Yeah. Give me <laughs> I love how it turned out. You did such a great job on all your cute blossoms. Are you excited for spring? Yeah. Me too. Yeah, we have fun drawing blossoms. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun because we're super excited for spring. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.